In the middle of this holy week, we continue to walk with Jesus into the places he enters during this week. Today, Wednesday, we walk with Jesus into the house where he will have the Last Supper with his disciples. Tomorrow, we'll look at the actual part of Jesus breaking bread and blessing the cup. But for today, in this presentation from Vanderbilt Divinity School, we enter the part of the story where Jesus tells his disciples that one of them will betray him. As you listen to the scriptures and ponder the images, pay attention to what you are feeling. We invite you to pause the presentation on the image that speaks the most to you. Spend time pondering what about it speaks to you. What is God saying to you in it? I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. Isaiah 50, 6 Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12, 1a and c. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. John 13:21. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. John 13, 27b Some thought that, because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. John 13, 29. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. John 13, 31b
This day begins the part of the journey that becomes hard. May we be strengthened by these words from Psalm 70. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Amen.